Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Arya. Good to see you. How is everybody doing? We're gonna ignore that I started a little late. <laughs> I was getting water. It is very important. Mm. <laughs> Agua. <laughs> uh, I hope all of your days are going well. I had to do an entire shift by myself so <laughs> that's how my day has gone and i went you know what i'm gonna stream as a little as a little treat <laughs> so we are back with another round of slay the princess which last time i think angel said we were about halfway through so hopefully we can get through it today it's hard to know where you are just because it repeats and that's just the nature of the game so <laughs> here we go we're gonna you know figure it out i'm trying to remember um wha how we left off last time i think i ended on like a more murderous note but we will see Swap us on over. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, content warning again. If any of this bothers you, um, that is okay to peace out, and I will catch you all in the next one. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Okay, off we go. Slay Princess has on a path in back the again. Woods. Back at, at it the end again. Of that path Hello, Albus. Is a cabin. Welcome in. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. <laughs> what? You're here to ungodly slay her. Ungodly horrors shall be released today. Besides me, of course. It will be the end <laughs> of the world. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. So I think. Last time we already kind of did all of these. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I feel like we haven't done a lot of the more violent routes. So I guess we could go with that. Um, I saw follow Alex the Degenerate. Welcome in. I don't know why my notification sounds aren't working, but we'll fix that later. <laughs> they were working last time. I might have just turned them down because they were really loud on my end. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Let's see. Stream labs. Hello. Let me in. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Okay, widgets, lure box, let's see. What would a stream be without scuff? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Log me in! What do you mean I'm not logged in? There we go. <laughs> okay, lurk box, ba 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 ba. Close, there we go. Okay, sound volume. Turn that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that fixed it. We will see. <laughs> okay. Have I turned around and walked away right from the beginning? Yeah, I I did it that one time. I just left. Oh, oh, from like the start of the session? No, I haven't. Let's try that first. <laughs> You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. She said no. <laughs> okay. So I guess we go. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, right, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying <laughs> her. Don't believe a word she says. Can you all hear it? I had to turn it up on my end, so just making sure. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her. 
and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in oh, this so situation. We still have broken she probably with us. doesn't hey, even need buddy. to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? <laughs> I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. That's what every pessimist says. You're being annoying. <laughs> just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely but catastrophic what if that I, would be for what everyone, if I, um, yourself included. Fun, funny, funky idea. What if we, I don't know, pledged ourselves? <laughs> I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her. But if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and okay, pledging yourself good. to her. Nice. Either would be terrible. I feel like I'm usually pretty quiet, too. I'll try to talk louder. <laughs> so please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Being defiant kind of is, um... Want. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior oh. would suggest. Oh, this is new too. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar oh. with a pristine blade perched on its edge. We get an altar now, alright. And the mirror is back. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? Oh, yeah, we're really short. We don't feel small. We are small. Huh. Okay, let's go to the mirror again. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. What are you okay, talking about? Same thing again. You reach forward and rub your hand again. We should okay. count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Um, chat, uh, one, if we should take the blade, or two, if we should just walk in. <laughs> Broken. I want to go home. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. Keep digging. <laughs> water, 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 water. Okay, one. Alrighty. We are gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. Alright. Enter the basement. Enter the spooky basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral mm. staircase. It steps We've almost got as upgrades, deep as you are people. tall. Upgrades. The smell of incense drifts up from below. Oh. Incense For now, moment, too, huh? You almost feel at ease. Did she become a guru in the two minutes that we were gone? Huh. This is actually kind of nice. The music is... like... Um... I was gonna... Dang it. That's how you can tell I'm tired after work is when I'll start a sentence and then I'll forget what I'm saying halfway through. But I feel like that's just me normally, so maybe I'm just constantly tired. <laughs> Still a stone basement. That also sounds the accurate. The princess lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls know, at, up the stairs. At least you wouldn't need air conditioning, because it sounds pretty, pretty nice. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Okay. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Yeah. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. She's probably more threatening because I took the knife, but Should we that's be okay. worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago you were going on about how pointless oh, everything yeah. was. Now you want to go down. I don't know. Bro is just kind of it doesn't submissive matter what and agreeable. That little voice says. <laughs> He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we go. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast temple-like room beyond. Hmm. The princess Ooh. towers over you, 
almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. Got Eldritch Goddess now. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This is a good look for you, honey. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be <laughs> a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I, I wonder what he wants. <laughs> you brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. I mean, I could put it down if you want. <laughs> Drop it. Okay. <laughs> the blade slips from your fingers and clatters uselessly to the floor. Look, she's cool. Look at her. <laughs> we didn't have to do that. Yeah, but she's cool looking. And yet you did. Yeah. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. That was way too easy. Shh. She was cool looking. See? She looks cool. <laughs> oh, I understand what's going on, and you I have a type. snap yourself out of it. Look, man, you didn't need to call me out that quick. <laughs> Neil. There's a reason my design is the way it is, and my lore is the way it is. What happens if we say no? I feel like she'd probably just murk us immediately. Uh, what should we do? Should should we should we kneel or should we play hard to get and probably immediately get murked? <laughs> Where did my cup go? I just set it down. Mm. Found it. We're good. I'm hydrated. It is so hot today. <laughs> You've already given up the knife, just kneel. Okay. <laughs> Say what the big scary lady wants. On her command, you fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. We follow what the scary lady says. That's She's kinda good cool. little bird. No. Why don't we talk? Okay. The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That she... thought wrapped itself around my heart. I'm trying to remember. It has pulled at me since the moment Which I squeezed the life last. out of your broken lungs. So we obviously ended with one that she killed us last time. I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. The collapse Ooh. of the old is a necessary prelude Ooh. to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for alterations. You're cool as hell. <laughs> it's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. Listen, I'm all for hot villainesses doing shit that they want to, okay? I, I'm all for it. Well, Feminism and all again, that. <laughs> it does. But why did she say the last time we met? That's not right. That can't be right. Buddy, you're... Very out of the loop, pun intended. She's right. We've been here before. Many times, actually. And we've died here before. Pitifully. We might as well do what she asks of us and help her. She is inevitable. Can't you feel it? I mean, I'm just I was just gonna do what she said anyway, look at her. <laughs> He's being melodramatic, but the point stands. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Well, I'll be damned. That's not good. You think? <laughs> okay. First things first, you're going to have to stuff those pessimistic thoughts someplace far, far away and commit yourself to what needs to be done. Riz up the princess? Got it. Plan in action. The stakes of the situation should be perfectly <laughs> clear to everyone now. If you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. You can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. Mm. <laughs> okay. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want. It can be cliche. <laughs> um, I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. 
What happened to you after I died? That's a good question. Okay, and then we have the options. All right. Uh, what happened to you after I died? You know the limits of your privilege, little bird. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. There's an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. She's really just pulling out my own lore against me, and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Alright. Again, that's cliche, and I feel like she'll scoff at it anyway. What do you have planned? That is a good question. And all you have to do is break these chains and set me free. Yeah, that explains nothing. Uh, if you're so powerful, can't you- Oh, that is a good question. Can't you break them yourself? Because you're so Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah. Don't be rude. Of course she can. <laughs> Don't be rude! It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. <laughs> That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. Well, if she wants me specifically as a priest, then she should get used to the backlash. Because I am the eldritch goddess, not her. <laughs> I can. Easily. But that isn't what I want to do. Oh, you want to play a little, a little game? The I story see. of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. God, I need to get my lore video out soon because she's just taking the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I just think it's funny. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. I love this set of drawings. It's really pretty. And from your act of utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn. A better dawn. <laughs> Remaking the world in your image, eh? Sounds mighty familiar. <coughs> anyway. Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. I love the nightmare ending drawings. Yeah, they're they're very fun. Like, I am I'm not a horror artist, but I so badly wish I could be because the amount of talent that goes into it is so fun. Okay. Um. You know, I think it'd be kind of fun, you know, to, to, to just, <laughs> Your will was so easily broken. Oh, and now I feel like I should have magnificent... done backlash a little bit. But you know what? She's pleased in herself. It's better than getting stabbed again. All you need to do now is break my chains. No hesitation. <laughs> look at her. Look at I, that's a baddie right there. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> look at look. That's a baddie. I I would want to be the priest to that too. No, you can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. Watch me. You're not a pretty giant woman. <laughs> There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you, where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Hmm. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. Ooh, it's something different now. Too. An echo. Oh, it's like the... 
the god thing with all of their hands. That's fun. That's a fun little sneak sneak in there. Is, is she talking about you? Oh, the broken? It's impossible. Well, the narrator. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She. You're a small one, aren't you? <laughs> a shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. She kind of, she kind of fine though. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just. I, I think this is what you are. the first time she can You're hear mine. him though. Oh. Rise, my little bird. That was pathetic. Without, Without hesitation, you're, you're brought to your feet. Ooh. Oh, I'm liking where this ending is going. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? All we have is a blade. Yeah, so this is the first time she could hear all of them. All you need to do is believe it's been done. And what if I don't believe what happens then? I have to. It's over. I'm sorry. What happens then? You, you poor, wretched, wretched little thing. thing. You, you already do believe. believe. You've you always, always believed. believed. All you, All have, you to do have to do is, is open, open the last door, door to your heart. Oh, last one. It's easy. And once you let her in, you'll be safe. Mm. Please, don't do this. I'm gonna, sorry! There's nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> this is how it was always going to be. And it is good. Alright, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go sit in the corner. Let me know if we get our agency back. <laughs> Hero said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Throw a little pity party in the corner. Her chains shatter, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. Interesting, because he said loose, and she said free. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. Whatever you say, giant woman, you're cool as hell. What happens now? Nothing. And then everything. Okie dokie. We going. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we're at the mirror again. But you do not take her hand. Nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Weren't you the one that was throwing a tantrum in the corner? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared this is the- Okay, so we can say the same thing. Have we had the broken response? I don't think so. We've been here before, don't worry. But it feels so bad. I don't want to look at us. Okay, maybe we have had the broken. It'll okay. be fine. A mercy. A mercy. Okay. Let's see. What do we look like now? Have some grotesque second head? Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. I always reassure them too. Yeah, see, I'm like, it's just... It feels a little mean to be like, ha, you're gonna die, but I'll be fine. Okay, see ya. <laughs> All right. You've unraveled is what it says. Huh. Remains weird. So our other hand doesn't have flesh. Huh. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed. Oh, hi! Hello again. There's Ooh. a world beyond the endless walls of the long This is a, This one's pretty. I like this one. To be there. 
Do you know what we'll find out there? Is this a rhetorical question? Do you know or do you want to tell me? There are trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. What did she say? Let's A world beyond the endless walls of the unquiet we're supposed to be there. Okay. Hmm. Do you think there is anything out there? Do you think we're real? Do you have thoughts on this vessel? Do you know what Okay. That's a good question. Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. That's trippy. <laughs> there are trees and stars, I think. Okay, so that's like wishful thinking. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is dominance. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. <laughs> Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. Uh oh Okay, um... At least I think there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Hmm. So, we're both in that, like, immortal and inevitable is what she's saying. Interesting. You know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. <laughs> Fair point. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me. But one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? That is a very good question. Hello, Arya. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. How many more vessels? Okay. Um, does she have a narrator? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Hmm. -mm. <laughs> he does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. I don't I don't know if he knows either. I'm going to kill him. But you're going to keep that to yourself. Um I... I don't know? I don't know. <laughs> There's no need for you to know what you are going to do before you do it. If you find him, remember that I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Okay. So, I'm assuming that the narrator has trapped us both in this weird time loop thingy. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. Okay, one more. I will be singular. A final multitude. Dang, so we were close when we ended last time. If this is the last time, is there anything you want me to bring you? Uh, if this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. Uh, there's That's pointless. So what do you want me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay, so she wants to see the outcome. Uh, well, looks like I can still say this. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I will see you when you return. Okay. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? 
Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Mm. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? Lady, I don't know. <laughs> you'll always come back to the box. Because you'll Half the time, I don't even know what you're saying. Means to be you. But you're cool. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. I'm assuming. Ooh, game crashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hope it's saved. Ah! <laughs> you have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, oh, oh, I never left you. Oh, side. it was on pers It was on purpose. That scared the crap out of me. I thought the game crashed. <sighs> ah, okay. I'm ready to go back. I was like, I "Well, you, crap! I didn't save. This is gonna end VR. terribly." Uh <laughs> That's like that was the worst jump scare of the whole game. <laughs> I will be here waiting for you. Oh, I hate that noise every time. <laughs> Everything goes dark and you die. The dominant vessel is the achievement I just got. The tower. You're on a path. In the woods. Like the Arcana? And at the end of that path huh. is a cabin. You're here okay. to s back here again. Um Well, if this is the last one. Now try walking away? Okay, several exclamation points. Oh, I can't. There's there is no option. <laughs> um Well, I guess we go. <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> She's a princess. We're supposed oh, no. to save princesses, not slay them. So it's back like it was in the beginning. Ignore him. I he doesn't know what he's talking about. started with... I opened with trying to kill her, so it'd be... Let's end with not trying to kill her. Because we opened with immediate violence. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. I don't think we've been back to just the regular cabin for a minute. Dust. Or maybe last the only time we were, and I just don't remember. is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. And the we blade ain't gonna take it implement. this time. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Screw you, Mr. Narrator Man. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Every chapter one is normal this cabin. Is okay, so maybe it was, and place. I'm just tired, and I don't know the what I'm talking about. The and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. What up? Hello? Is someone there? How you doing? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Again with Hero being horny on main. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I know. Um... I don't think we've lied before. Have we lied before? I don't think we chose this option because I remember doing hi and just checking in and then honestly being like I'm here to save you I don't know if I said this one maybe I did I, don't, I feel like the only one we haven't done is lie I'm not sure though um one if you want to lie or two if we want to do Hey, what up, baby Goral? I think I'm here to slay you, question mark, question mark. I don't know if you're into that. Ha ha. Funny, cool. <laughs> or maybe just continue silently. Uh, I don't know if we've done that either. I guess we could just go. 
I just don't want her to bite off her freaking hand again. <laughs> Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better. Okay, if you I have, have I have you may continued still be silently because I remember the narrator saying this spiel. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Oh, that's okay. Place. I genuinely didn't remember either. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? That's how they get you. <laughs> I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot. Okay. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? I haven't been able to get the key each last time. Um, I wonder if like the key is even an option. There's a way you can chain yourself up with her. Maybe it's sitting and talking to her. That's interesting. Um... I've always, like, stopped to talk with her. I don't think I've ever just gone straight up and examined them. But probably to get up chained with her is probably just talking. I don't know. We'll try talking. Okay. Okay. Um, we've asked her all of these. We'll let her know, like, hey, what up? Um, but I don't think you're actually dangerous. I wanted to see. I'm starting to think it is true. Um, we're just gonna go with neutral. I don't know. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Okay. Uh, That's... So How long has she been locked I remember away? this too, so we have asked this before. Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? I don't know. Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out? Uh, I told, I've been told enough. I remember answering that. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> What if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to leave. Okay. At I love sassy day, narrator. Whatever the two of us have going on down He's here funny. is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Because the narrator's just a sassy little dude. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Hmm. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. Mm -hmm. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both uh, know that I've met several past versions of you that seemed it's very happy to do here. so. <laughs> and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't mm -hmm. about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Subjugating monarch. What does that make you then, bucko? <laughs> Okay, so we're back here. I think the only one that we haven't done is like the, oh, we're gonna sit and just talk. Okay, because I've answered that one. Um, let's, sorry, uh, let's retrieve the blade, okay. You need the knife. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, I don't- I still think I haven't done this. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. I haven't chosen that one yet, so we can go with this. That seems like a pretty good compromise. <laughs> I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. 
Probably. So I'm the only one who liked like that. Like biting idea. her arm off. <clears throat> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out okay, of here. Okay, so now she's getting... It would getting... make it easier for both of us if you'd help. Mm-hmm. But if you don't, there we go. I can promise that you'll regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Retrieve the blade or lock. Mm. Examine the chains, lock her in the basement or retrieve the blade. Have we tried locking her in the basement before? I don't remember. Hmm. Well, let's lock her in the basement, then. I know you think this is some kind of fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. Probably not, but we're seeing the outcome. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. Yay, more nightmare fuel. You turn your back to the princess <laughs> and make your way back to the stairs. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. I kind of feel bad towards the hearts for letting this one be the last. <laughs> um one that she'll get a Slip negative these one chains she can't right she needed our help to get out of here uh, but do you hear the conviction in her voice did she though i don't think she's bluffing either way she dropped the mask didn't she you can still grab the blade and get back down here okay uh oh okay committing to locking away or stabbing um, let's try locking her up and see what happens. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. We'll do it your way. Why not? You close the basement door. Oh yeah, it like that will do much. Out, it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Where'd the blade okay. go? Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. Yeah, this is gonna work. Wonders. <laughs> it isn't long before you start to drift off. Yep, Your see, there we go. Wonders. Fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Oh, okay. I thought we Instead, actually would. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Oh, hi. You make things easier on yourself and let me out. I'm good, thanks. It's not like this little door <laughs> will hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Fair point. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. So this one I'm guessing is some rage the kind one. Of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, I doubt it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So, uh, so all of it was an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her. Um... This is just gonna antagonize- both of them are pretty antagonizing, actually. And ignoring her, I feel like, is just gonna end up with me with a slit throat. Uh, anyway, regardless. So... Hmm, heads or tails? Heads will be... Um... Uh... Guilty conscious, and tails will be calling her a monster, which I feel like would make her more mad. Okay, let's see. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Alright, it's Tails, so I guess we're making her more mad? Alright. I could be innocent and harmless, if I want to be. 
<laughs> Teasing me with fresh air, the chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. <laughs> you put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Monster! <laughs> it's like the the uh witch! <laughs> like the the videos where the dude's just like standing pointing those are so funny to me for literally no reason you jolt oh, awake yep, in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin i'm like it's a table the that's does stopped. the door open inward the, door the basement is ajar it's lock broken <laughs> what would the table do out. then if it opens the other way <laughs> So was was that whole time of her banging on the door not realizing that it opened in her direction? <laughs> Where is she? Thanks for oh, helping me get Jesus. out of that awful basement. Hi. You try and oh, stumble God. to Hello. your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. So, Hart, I hope you appreciate this terrifying banshee of a piece. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes. That's a five head up, right there. <laughs> and then your feet. And then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Mm. Yours, of course. But I have a duty his to own. uphold the Narrator's truth. Narrator's just his own little. Lying about the facts of the situation spicy doesn't guy. change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? I'd appreciate just dying in one go. Thanks. She steps closer. Oh, God. <laughs> one silent foot you got like time, those bulbous angler fish eyes, lady. As you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Huh. Or maybe. Oh, jeez. I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Honey, you seem more fish-like than me at this point. What a shame. If you'd only helped me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Listen, we usually do. I just don't want to repeat myself. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? <sighs> Well, about that. Funny story. It can't be. <laughs> this can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. That was a quick, a quick one, surprisingly. The nightmare. You're on a path in the woods. Okay, You're here back to again. slay. Um, she's going to kill me again. I can leave again! Leave! You have already committed Dang to completion. It. You cannot go further astray. Heart said no. <laughs> Fine. She gonna kill me again. We're gonna keep the narrator in the dark. We'll just, we'll just go. A warning. She will lie. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us she last time. She was very direct. Or at yeah. least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah, she was... That was a fast one. It doesn't matter. Don't oh, paranoid. trust anyone. Hello, you're new. <clears throat> the interior Ooh. of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the wall was Whoa, almost okay. featureless. Oh, hey, look, there's the like eyes in the window. Is a lone oh, table that's fun. Knocked on its side in the corner of the room. So we got ghosts. A pristine now. blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I feel like we should take the knife this time. Hold on. What happened to the door? It's just These an empty drawings frame. coming up. Oh boy. Frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Well, it does seem like she just kind of perfectly set the knife there for us. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like the this, you're going back. to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. 
we're gonna... I don't think I've ever asked about the mirror. You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice it there. <laughs> what are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. <laughs> we have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And <laughs> pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. The paranoid must have such a sad existence. I feel so sorry for you. I want to see how handsome I am. Um... Why would you lie about the mirror when it's clearly right there? What's the point? It doesn't matter. Remain silent or approach the mirror. I want to see how handsome I am! We shouldn't waste time preening. <laughs> but if he is lying about the mirror, it might be important. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so <laughs> meaningless? What good would it even do? Maybe he's trying to keep us from looking because there's something horribly wrong with us. I don't know, we just kind of seem like a big bird man. No, there isn't something horribly wrong with you. You look exactly how you're supposed to look. <laughs> now stop second guessing my every word. No. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the mirror again. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's <laughs> a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. Oh, the dialogue was different. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Did he make it go away? <laughs> Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Um... I don't know. I feel like taking the blade as a precaution is just a good idea. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. <laughs> Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something <laughs> Can we else? have a bomb? Something, I don't know, <laughs> better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Heroes asking the real questions. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. I don't know, it hasn't been really off, so long as you don't helpful. So lose faith in yourself. Like at all. <laughs> Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Yeah. You cross Ooh. over the threshold Whoa. and onto a series of isolated oh, steps eyes suspended in darkness. Fun. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. You never mention the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh Mr. and blood. Mr. John, made of a thousand the eyes, lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Mm -hmm. Come back. She must have no. you confused with someone else. <laughs> you really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> How hard is it to throw a knife? I'm going to talk with her. I don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator thinks I can do it. Yeah, but he lies all the time. Um, I don't know why you're all pessimists. The horrors. Hello, angel. The re... The the person to blame for me doing this whole thing. <laughs> Step off into the void between the stairs. Ooh, that's a fun option. I'm gonna ask, how hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. <laughs> but then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. Fair. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. Um, I kind of want to step into the void. Okay, uh, one, if you think we should talk to her, and two, if you think we should step into the void, because that kind of sounds fun to me. <laughs> that sounds like my kind of option. <laughs> two? Okay. Two again. All right, we step into the void. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch no! box surrounding them, but you're stopped Let by me into the force. void! Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? 
I live for chaos. Let me into the void. I was curious. Congratulations, you really lucked out. Of all the <laughs> things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite Let me into the, the void. You could have gotten. <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Screw you two. I wanted As you void emerge, time. You find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. Mm. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. What about a third option? Void! <laughs> she could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. No, Somebody I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. <laughs> fastball excuse me let me I'm into the void exactly reasonable third Your option void void time the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement <laughs> we're going to die down here i don't want to die again oh please stop We're saying paranoid that. you're only going to make things worse just pick a direction and start moving void void is my direction thought if i were you it doesn't really matter because either way you go I'm going to find you. <laughs> He's traumatized, poor thing. What about what about void option? Is a void a good option? What about if we just leave? <laughs> Flashing images warning. Thank you. What about what about if we just what about if we just go? What about if we just leave? You turn back to the stairs, only to find well, fuck they you do. <laughs> a faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Oh, hi. I Why do you have a baby you head? I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, your legs oh, that's a cool suddenly one. go numb. Your arms quickly follow. I like this wraith ending that we're doing here. This is it, isn't it? And you brought a little knife with you. Cute. Tee hee. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. I love this princess. She's very interesting looking. I do like her design a lot. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Oh, what do you suggest, wise guy? I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. <laughs> Ow, oh, that hurt my ears. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. You good? No. I think we broke paranoid. <laughs> your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Lungs. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function? Or do you want I'm to working. The experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Can you do that, please? <laughs> are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? <laughs> We made paranoid sassy is what we did. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Again, Lungs. your eyes shoot He really just said, let me breath. cook. <laughs> do you want to eat or not? Lungs. Liver. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Lungs. This is a fun- I, I like this design. Nerves. It's a fun one. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. <laughs> she isn't attacking us. Nerves. Why? She wants to play, didn't she already tell us? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Nerves. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. <laughs> Why won't you finish me off? Nerves. What good am I to you alive? What do you want Lungs. from me? Liver. What happens after you kill me? I'm... Heart. Lungs. You're a lunatic, you know that, Lungs. right? Heart. If you Lungs. want to work together, you could at least Liver. turn off this whole organs shutting down Heart. situation. How about I just kill you? Liver. We don't have to be enemies, Lungs. we can work together, friends. Heart. She seems Lungs. playful. Leave together. Lungs. 
She seems playful. Let's see. What do you want from me? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't Okay, so she can't leave without me. So I started me. to drag your body out with me, and then, well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you are here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. Okay. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Okay. So she can't leave without me, then. Never. If you need me alive, why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? Yeah, not thanks to you. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. Yeah, can, do you think you could maybe stop trying to kill us then? Um Do we separate ways? You're a lunatic. You want to get Can you like maybe I am what I am. <laughs> it's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. I can like literally all the other times. If I just kill you instead, what if I refuse? What if I let you out? What happens then? Okay, let's see. Um, if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Oh, no, definitely not. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Okay. Don't worry. I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Well, we, are, we kind of already answered that, but to get rid of the option. Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's okay. taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her mask lips close to your ear. God, woman, you are murdering my ears. I see you gone. All I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, Oh, heart, paranoid, poor lungs. thing. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, But that was lungs, probably not the question liver, to ask. <laughs> nerves, heart, you're back. Lungs, liver, One nerves, moment, heart, and then lungs, you're gone. Liver, nerves, Just heart, like... Lungs, that. Ah, and there's the fear. She's just having a good time. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Okay, I can't let you leave. Being around you is agony. I'm not going to stick around. You're a lunatic, you know that. If I just kill you. We can be friends, Ethan. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not killing you. Do your worst talk of blade and remain within your nightmare. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, then she just kill us. Well, wait, she can't kill us. We're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Only oh, until your heart finally gives out. Okay. And then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. Very true. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. No, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's. She's having a fun time. Yeah. You're a lunatic, right? You know that, right? I am what I am. And right now, I'm in control. So, you might want to be a little closer to me. Okay, and that again, really? Hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws, sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. Okay. How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemy. Well, let's try being nice. We don't have to be enemies if you don't want. I'm glad you're seeing things my way. 
Nerves. Okay, so she likes that lungs, idea. Then. Liver, nerves, heart, Cross lungs, the knife liver, with a nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, Cross the blade nerves, and remain heart, in your nightmare. Lungs, Leave liver, together. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, you nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Okay, heart, our options lungs, are liver, nerves, heart, toss lungs, the blade liver, and just let her kill nerves, me. Let's lungs, get liver, out of here. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, or heart, lungs, liver, nerves, let her heart, win. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, I feel like heart, if she lungs, liver, wins, nerves, then she'll heart, just lungs, kill us once we get out. No, she already said she would keep us around. Well, if we say we're in this together, hopefully lungs, she will think nerves, that that's how it has lungs, to be. Nerves, or we can stay heart, here. Which liver, I doubt we nerves, want. So, lungs, why nerves, not heart, trying to leave together? What? Nerves, no! Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, oh, you nerves, liver, oh, this is nerves, going to be so heart, wonderful. Lungs, liver, nerves, yeah, we're gonna heart, make lungs, Paranoid run out of nerves, breath by the end of it. I'm not going to let this happen. I, before you can utter another word, your body stops nerves, moving lungs, and. We already uh, kind of stopped shit. moving. Oh shit, I accidentally skipped something. What does it say? Voice of the paranoid. Do you really think you can wrest control away from us? This body's barely functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, With a lungs, flick of the liver, princess's wrist, nerves, the stairs lungs, slide back into nerves, place. I can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone to torment and oblivion. Yeah. We've done that before multiple times, though. Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Trust having our back to her. That's fair. That's a fair point. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the feedback. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. How about you go first? Why, are you scared of turning your back to me? You don't have to be worried that I'm going to do something bad. You're too important to me now. Besides, what if I lost track of you and dropped the stairs on accident? I wouldn't want that to happen. And I don't think you'd want that to happen either. So go on. Go ahead. She urges you forward like one might a reluctant pet. Okay. <laughs> you place a shaky foot on the first step and begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static prickling of the princess on your neck, your limbs buzzing with pins and needles. This chapter is murder on my ears. <laughs> reminder that you exist and that your existence is so very precarious. You're almost there. <laughs> she really did just do the little pss 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 like you do with cats. The only thing left between you and the cabin is the now shut door to the basement. It would be a real shame if it had locked behind you. Oh, ha ha. Oh, you snake. There wasn't even a door when we first got here. Oh. The door was from last time. I told you we shouldn't trust him. I know he's messing with us, but you can't lose your cool. We this need way, you little right birds. <laughs> now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This is so <laughs> frustrating. Heart, thank heart, you. And you? Lungs, You'd really rather us liver, die down here than let her out? Heart, of course I would. Lungs, as much as I want you to have a happy ending, nerves, the fate of the world is a little more important and you lungs, still have a weapon. You can nerves, still heart, make this right. I don't think liver, I could stab her. Nerves, she doesn't seem... Very Nerves. physical. <laughs> I think the door is locked. Oh, look at that! It's locked. What a relief for the world. I think it's locked. It'll open. You just have to give it a tug. Okay. Try the door. You pull against the door. The lock gently clicks open in response to your effort. <laughs> and the door creaks on its hinges. He's like, what the fuck? Right. That's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. Oh, oh so this one did pull in. Like last You're time. You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, are you? 
Oh. <clears throat> Heart, lungs, liver. I like paranoid lungs. being sneaky. Anyways, like he said, you're not really in control here, are you? I never said I was. If I was in control here, why would I need you to slay her? I don't know. You've been in pretty liver. big control of our body until Secret now. Secret reasons? Secret reasons? The door is open. Liver. What are you dawdling for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. Liver. Oh, shit. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. Again, like she said, she just I thought you wanted is. us to slay her. Oh. It's the same thing. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> I like being Do it snarky. Now everything is over. She's not like killing us on purpose. It's just kind of her effect. No. Okay, what do we do? I said, what do we do? Liver. Oh, do you want to hear from me now? <laughs> yes. Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. Oh. Why is... Hmm. We do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just uh, tell us who to trust. Uh, brain? <sighs> heart. Uh, right, heart. Lungs. <laughs> Lungs. Paranoid got snarky. Liver. Nerves. Okay, thanks. I got it. Heart. Lungs. <laughs> he liver. sounds so unsure. You're terrible at this. <laughs> I know. I'm doing my best. Yes, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when other people are talking to you, isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. Finally, I can talk. Uh, now, what were you asking me? Running everything kind of feels like popping in and out of consciousness. It's easy to lose track of things. They were asking you for your blessing to trust me. No, not that is not oh, what we were saying. Right. Yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> trust him. Fuck this guy. We like paranoid a lot. Really? So you'd have them trust her? Oh, uh, of course not. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't trust anybody here but ourselves. Paranoid. But ha, ha, ha. I guess no. <laughs> that leaves us back where we started, doesn't it? I suppose if I had to make a choice, I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Okay. Thank you for your gracious show of support. But that's a marginal preference. That's a marginal have to preference. i deal with him later. I'd just rather deal with him while our organs are intact. Okay. Whatever. You heard what he had to say. So whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. All right, I'm done. You can let me take over again. Finally, that was awful. I really don't know how you do it. Heart, lungs. Okay, so he's you've been standing there staring blankly for a while now, and I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't think I'll let you wait any longer, okay? Open the door. Oh boy. Um, one or two. What do we think? Should we just kill her or open it? Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. One. Lungs. Two. Okay, we've got we've got split. Heart. All right. Lungs. Liver. We're gonna flip a coin. So heads will be slay and tails will be leave. Liver. Flip a coin. We have got Heart. tails. Lungs. All right. Liver. Nerves. I. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Hmm. Nerves. Heart. It's interesting because it's like, if I if I leave with her, I make paranoid Nerves. mad. Heart. But if I do Lungs. one, then I risk dying Heart. anyway. Lungs. But in the end, Liver. I think Heart would appreciate Nerves. it. Okay, Heart. we'll leave. The doorknob twists in your hand. Uh, Revealing the forested path oh, beyond the Oh, it says a word of terror. Let terrors loose on the world. You bastard. Heart, you've actually done. Tee-hee. You've actually doomed Nerves. Heart. It's Lungs. so beautiful. Liver. I can't Lungs. wait to ruin it. Lungs. She's just a being of chaos, and I think it's kind of Lungs. funny. But it's so cold, too. Lungs. It's Lungs. itching against Lungs. my skin. Lungs. Hmm. The princess, exhausted, 
plumps to the ground. Why is it so cold? Oh, there we go. Heart grabbed her. That was an interesting end to that one. You do not get a chance to respond, nor will you ever. Time to leave. Then Marie returns. She's gone. Where does she go? And there's that mirror up there. Just trust me, we've been here before. It feels so bad. It's calling us. And not in a good way. Yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. Can we trust you? Maybe. Gaze. What do we got? Let's see. You are nothing at all. Huh! Interesting. Oh, there's a burb. That's not right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and you see it. A figure, tall and faint, veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh! Hello? The crack slam slides down the side of the mirror, splitting the image and the glass in two. And then another crack, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Whoa. Okay. Well, you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. Hmm. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Blech. And what are you? Something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Hmm. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Oh, that's just a terrible noise. Okay. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. One, two... Has each been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct hmm. you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Huh. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself after all that hubris? Do you think anyone deserves to live? I have questions for you. I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Each time I ask, a piece of it breaks. Are you a part of me or are you something else? You have a lot of questions. Okay. Okay. What is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Oh. Okay. I don't want to be a god. A god I always knew I was special. How am I supposed to rid the world of death? Because about dying, I've died plenty of times. I'm pretty sure death is good, actually. Important, even. Why would you want to report death? What is the princess? Did you make her? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. And you want her to nature is why I to... had to die, for oh. she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Okay, so you want to kill her to kill change. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. 
This isn't the end just yet. Okay, you can okay, still okay. destroy her and save everyone. Maybe. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Okay. One, two, three, I have four questions left. Okay. If you made us, then I want you to know that this has been torture. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Why? Hmm. You think... You know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her. Would it like to be living in a world without her? Does anyone else know about us? Don't want to be God. Every time I ask you, do we know that? Okay. Are you a part of me or are you something else? Why couldn't you have told me this from the start? If she's cap capable of becoming what people believe her to be, I can't I just will her into something? Are you do know about the looping. Okay. Are you a god or were you a god? How did you die? Why did you make her a princess? All things, why is she a princess? Let's see. Um Are you a god or were you a god? I feel like that's a pointless question. It won't give me information. God, why are there so many questions? Okay. Um. Why would you want to rid the world of death? They know about this. I feel like there isn't a they. What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can't we just stay here together and I'm alone? Can't I- I'm gonna ask, can't I just will her into something? As you are now, you won't be able to will her into anything. You don't work the way a living being does. Not anymore. Okay. And as you were before, you couldn't be trusted with the knowledge of what she is. No one could be trusted with that knowledge. Intrusive thoughts have a way of <laughs> creeping in and ruining everything. It's why I had to die. Oh, okay. Hmm. Why did you have to die? Um... Mm. Hey, die is my question, but... How did you die? I killed myself. Why? It had to be done, really. None of this would have worked if I was still alive. Nobody living could know about her. Okay, we have two questions left. God, okay. Mm. How am I supposed to destroy an absent concept? Are you a god or were you a god? I think you've just told me. Are you a part of me? No. I am not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well, all the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. Hmm. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Run out of I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good. Lie to him. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks. Um. What do we think? Do we lie to him to at least give him some semblance of peace, or do we 
be honest because this is gonna be my honest answer. Do we do we be honest or do we lie to him to give him a peaceful death? Cause I could be I could be spiteful and just <laughs> no peace, no peace for Johnny. Sorry. I've said my piece and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. Long quiet. All of this is you. This is the, pre is the achievement you got. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet. A vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed one last time. Terrifying vessel, the nightmare. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Hmm, this seems promising. There we go. <laughs> Okay. I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've missed you too. Did you know about the echo? We'll, we'll be nice. I've missed you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response, and then patiently waits for you to continue. You know about the echo. Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Okay. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. You, you are kind of mound-shaped. <laughs> what happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. Hmm. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world? She looks she looks so bored at that idea. Meaning? Or will you open the final doors to our liberation? There's so many stories we've uh, left unfinished, can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Is it falling on me? Make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends with you that I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? It has to be. Okay. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Okay. Don't you have a say in all of this? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Hmm. Um... I have a lot of questions. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. 
You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to no. enlighten you, then so be it. You were nice to me before. No! God damn it. Pretends to protect us from loss. To fear death protects from losing a body. To fear ruin protects from losing status. To fear rejection protects from being known. But losing a body is contained within having a body. Losing status is contained within having status. Being known is contained within being conscious. It is in the nature of all things to transform. To go from known to hidden to known again. But is she going to show me the different vessels I got her? Away the finality of enemies. What remains of fear? Is it a shelter protecting you from itself? Or is it a shelter protecting itself from you? You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. Address this vessel's statement directly. Heal to your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and changed in stagnation. That isn't... That isn't what any of this has been about. Reject her authority. You've done nothing but lecture me. Argue your independence. Reject her perspective. I won't engage with violence. But I already have. Address this vessel's statement directly. Appeal to your shared humanity. That wasn't a rejection of fear, you broke me to your will. You wanted to make the world suffer, you act as though you're above it all, but you're not. I'm not afraid anymore. Even if I'm not afraid now, the fears of others is real. We can't uphold the harm that everyone suffers just because we're beyond it. Others cling to fear because they have not yet seen beyond it. Will you strip the world of possibility just because some refuse to see its beauty? Whoa. You are nothing. A black hole of self-loathing fed by the matter of your restless thoughts. Okay, so we're going through all of the best line to its leash. But there is no light without the dark. When I proclaimed my godhood and offered you a place at my side, you gladly became the instrument of my new creation. <laughs> Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that has meaning to be. <laughs> I feel like addressing the statement directly is the best. I miss when that was you. Admitting to you was just a mistake. I would have destroyed you if I knew what you were. You were consumed by your own ego. Let's see. Speak of life and death and pain. That isn't what any of this has been about. Reject her authority, reject her perspective. Stop the fight early. I don't want to stop the fight early. Okay. Arguing your independence, let's see. You act as though a world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Reject her authority. Um, we'll address it directly. You were consumed by your own ego. Admitting to you the mistake. I miss when that was you. You were consumed by your own ego. And through your lack of one, you too were consumed. Yet together, we were able to create something beautiful. Oh! There is no beginning, and there is no end. 
there is no there's only the flood of there is only the flood of every moment you hold every possible sensation at once and then you hold them all again sensation at once and then you hold them all again Trip. That but was trippy. In the end, but you in reflected it back at me. Back at me. For a brief, For a brief moment, moment, both, both of us were everything. We can be everything again. We can be the beautiful and endless song. Hmm. To be everything at once is the same as being nothing at all. Why would either of us want that? Contain everything is to contain every evil alongside every good. Can we not shed the confines of our old selves and create? I couldn't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. You seemed in pain. I'm sorry for what I did to you, but it was the only thing I could do. Hmm. Can we not create? Without the contrast of pain, pleasure is needed, made dull by the assurance that it will always be. A song that is only sweet is a pale horizon that never falls. A web of nerves, and upon a web of nerves, and upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. Where did you end when I began? When we felt that it was to be me, we held on to each other and pierced the veil of truth. Will you abandon that curiosity now that we are no longer joined in physicality? Mm. Curiosity comes second to doing the right thing. Still want to know what's out there. And we return back to it. I still want to know what's out there. Then leave with me, and we will see it all together. Not until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. Oh yeah, the weird one. Another head to stick into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Love melted into skepticism, and you pulled back layer after layer after layer, until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth then. Will you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? No desire to hide, but the truth has been can be made better. Destroying is you if you is what it takes, so be it. I don't want to hide from the truth. Then again. There's no need for you to hide from the No. If you need more time to wait now. Okay. As the clash between you abates, begin to shake. You will rapidly dissolving. I think I chose the wrong. Nothing is immutable. I probably should have appealed to humanity. Is, exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. Open your special eyes, my brand! <laughs> what do you think happens if we leave here? I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Slay her, play her again, slay her. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. That is a good example. Um, it is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. What happens if we leave? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all. 
weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Isn't that just the creation? That's just the cycle of creation. I am going to say you need to know my perspective as well. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Oh, hi. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone, where is everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed here. I thought you died. Um, where is everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds Hero! of this place. <laughs> Part of me is with them, just like part of me is with you right now. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time Do to it, resume then. our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Then let's go. Oh. <laughs> Back to the silly little sketch world. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it oh, all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? <laughs> Do you need me to describe things? For old time's sake. Just you and me. Did everyone else... Did anyone else make it? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Okay. The narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Oops. Good riddance. I'm kind of sad to see him go. I don't actually know how I feel about him being... Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but he's been part of us since the very beginning, hasn't he? Why, why not? Why not narrate, for old time's sake? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? <laughs> there isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. Mm -hmm. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. Sorry. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Okay. Well, we'll take it then. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. True. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? I don't know what you want for us. She sounded just like that. Hmm. Timid and gentle. Only she didn't know us. I think the first time I heard her voice was her being murderous towards me. <laughs> And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. What's that knife for? Have you changed your mind? Are you going to kill me? What if we just talk for a bit? Maybe we can figure this out. Let's talk. Oh, whoa. She looks different. Are you the same you as out there? I don't feel the same. I feel smaller. Hmm. I don't think there's a way out, but... Oh, she got more detail. Maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. She gets more detail with each question, that's fun. I'm able to do the things you believe me to be able to do. So make me put it all back. Help me fix the Echo's construct and make us both forget. So she wants to- Help me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Okay. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Did resetting it do anything to help them, the people out there? If you continue to exist, then don't they 
continue to die and suffer. I don't want to forget you. We're going back. We're going. Yeah, it's just going to be an endless loop anyway. If we're talking about this right now, how do we know we haven't done this before? I don't want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. Any other way? I don't want this. I don't want to kill you. Too late to go back to being a god. Okay. Okay, so agree to her plan. Kill her. That's... How do we know we haven't done this before? Maybe we have done all of this before. Maybe we're supposed to do this forever. Mm. Doubt it. Wouldn't people continue to die and suffer? If you can believe this helps them, then it will help them, right? Mm. I don't want to forget you. I don't want to forget you either. But unless we do this, you'll have to choose, right now, between me and everyone else. Mm. We're going to find ourselves back here eventually. And when we do, we'll make the same choice. We'll choose to forget, and we'll reset everything again. I feel like that's pointless, though. How do you know that things won't end worse? What if when I make my way back here I'm different and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if I let you bring about the end of everything? None of that will happen, because you'll still be you, and I'll still be me. You can't know that, though. Yeah, but how do you know that? We'd have to do this every single time, forever. Eventually something is going to be different. I know because it doesn't matter how many times we've hurt each other. I've never stopped caring about you. And if you feel the same, then everything is going to be okay. I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. But you won't be alone for long. I'll be right here. Waiting for you. Hmm. Any other way? I think you brought that knife down here for a reason. It has to be a part of how this ends. So I have to kill her to reset it? I don't want this and I don't want to kill you. Is it too late to go back to being a god? It feels like it is. You wouldn't have come here if you were just going to go back. Um... Hmm... It's interesting, because if you reset it all, then it just plays into the game. But then if you kill her, it's the name of the game, so maybe... One or two. Um... Agree or stab. <laughs> We're gonna save right here, actually. There we go. Because if I can... We'll... Okay. I've saved right here. We'll do both. We're gonna stab her first and then come back and agree. I'm sorry, too. So this is what it feels like to actually die. We'll come back and agree. I saved. I think this is for the best. I don't know what the world will be like without me. But it can't be that bad if it still has you in it. Oh, I regret a lot. I regret that. That made me sad. Oh no. I've always loved you. Don't forget me. Poor thing. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small, melancholic weight that sits at the border of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged, and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. No. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor, or... Are you being literal? Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. 
you leave the basement behind and the stairs then you leave the cabin itself it's quiet here the path and the woods outside are an empty canvas but there is even more to see beyond this place the fruits of your labor a world free from death but you're still free body of an ancient creature stirs from hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings, spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite flame. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you to an in across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension, tension gives way. And then the shattering. You are free, and before you lies an endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality. One forged by your will and a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be I a haven't winner seen stubborn is grit and determination. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Mm. I hope this was all worth it. Because <laughs> I'm personally inconsolable. Sorry, Smitten. We'll go back, I promise. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. It's good to be back. Hi, no, contrary. We just have to out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Huh. A new and unending dawn. Huh. Jonathan Sims. <laughs> and Nicole, good night. They both did a very good job. Instrumentals. The, the music was pretty good too. All of our patron alpha sisters. <laughs> Finish the game. The good ending doesn't count. What does that mean? <laughs> In the Discord. Oh, cute. I want to return to see if I can load where we were. Okay, let's see the other ending. Agree to her plan. Okay, if this is your choice, then we're doing it. Yay, you destroyed the capacity to die! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> which is exactly what the narrator wanted, which is interesting. She takes the blade from our hand. She raises her gentle eyes to ours, a fondness in her gaze. Mm. See you soon. I love you. Just do it. In silence. Well, you know what? Let's riz up the princess one last time. Yeah! Everything is going to be okay. I love you too. Okay, so it's either we kill her or she kills us. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods, mm. and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. So You're here to again. slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh boy. 
What happens if I leave this time? Oh, nice. It just... That's how it ends. Nice. I like that. How in that was fun. <laughs> Everyone did a really good job on that one. Do you come up? Aw. I do you I. Sweet. That was good! Our other game. We have other games. Cute. Yeah, that was a very that was a good one. That was that was very interesting. <laughs> wow, that was good. I really liked that one. Thank you, Angel, for letting me play that one. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I hoped you all enjoyed it. And I am curious, Angel, what ending you got. If there was other endings besides the the two options that I was presented with at the end there. <laughs> so, yeah, it is dinner time for moi. I am hungry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will upload this one to YouTube as a VOD. There's another ending, but I forget how you get it. Okay. Yeah, that's the type of game where I'm like, I know I missed stuff. Like, completionists must have a nightmare with that one. <laughs> uh, all right, hey. Um, let me see who has chatted. <clears throat> Fordling or Aria, thank you very much for stopping by. Alvis, thank you very much. Angel, of course, thank you for stopping by. And to all of my ravens that are new, welcome in. I am glad to have you as part of the Raven Army. Thank you for playing. Thank you for suggesting it. That one was a very interesting one. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Alrighty. All of you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. As always, happy nightmares. Peace.